guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are Music Mesa 2015 in Frankfurt. We've got Tom Quayle on guitar, we're at Fibonari Guitars, and we got Gabor here to tell us about this cool new model. It's, it's Tom's signature model. Who wants to start telling the story about how this happened? Well, it started uh, a year ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah, about a year ago. I think so. Uh, we made a, a gold top basic jazz for the NAMM show, and Tom was stunned so he was like wow I need a gold top but I'm not sure what kind of gold top I need and I I told him that you already got a basic jazz so for us it, it's okay to do one more basic jazz but you don't have an erotic which is the flagship of the company so let's think about that and he was Who says Tom's not erotic <laughs> <laughs> and he was uh, he was fine with the idea, and after some weeks, we found out that doing a gold top in this shape could turn out very well with a semi-transparent finish. So, so this was the main idea, to do the Dalmat model with a semi-transparent finish, gold, to Tom's custom requirements, he always asks. So that now, was the basic idea. So the official model name is Erotic Dalm. Oh, say it again? It's the Dalmat. D A L M A T. Yeah, it's like the dog. It has spots oh, on like it. Like Dalmatian. Yeah. Gotcha. So, the 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 finish here is it burl wood burl we're seeing through it, or is that like swirled paint or what? It's it's a Hungarian poplar burl. We like this wood very much. Uh, the back of the guitar is is ash. It's Hungarian ash. It has a very uh, straightforward sound. A very harsh. And with the poplar bird top, we can soften it just to the right spot of sweetness. Okay, so poplar and ash for the body. Yeah. And what about the rest of it? The woods? Uh, the, the neck is a standard, it's a plain maple. Tom wanted a, a real rock guitar. And we were thinking about exotic woods, but we found out that, that maple will work the best for this. Okay. Fretboard. And the fretboard is iron wood. It's also called uh, life, the wood of life. Uh, quite rare. Uh, we're going to make any jokes about wood of life on the erotic. Very, very dense. It all makes sense when you think about it. And resonates like hell. So nice. So is 22 frets? No, 24. 24. Okay. Tell us about the pickups. Oh, I love the the rings around them. That's is that poplar also? No, this is flame maple. The rings are flame maple and we do the pickups in the house and uh, these are made for Tom's special requirements. He wanted a hotter pickup for, for his rock stuff. So we overwound them and put some, some details on it. And the bridge is new as well, isn't it? The bridge is a different design to the normal bridges. Yes. Uh, for several years we had a sm small wraparound bridges and these, this year we changed to a bigger one for a, for more mass, so you have a better sustain out of it. Is it steel or is it chrome covered brass? Or we do it uh, from aluminum or brass or uh, die cast. So okay. it's it's different in all, each model. Whoever asks for what? How about the controls? The controls for his guitar is a volume, a tone, and there's a three-way rotary, which goes like. Uh, Single coils, series humbucker, the standard, and parallel humbucker, and a three-way switch, a standard. Nice, Tom. What do you what? Add your perspective to this story. Uh, well, the thing for me was I having a gold top was always something I wanted, but the idea, because of the 3D contour of the body, you can see all three layers. So you've got the translucent, uh, sorry, yeah, transparent gold top, then the maple, thin maple layer. And then you can see the uh, the ash underneath, so you've got a really interesting finish that I've never seen on another guitar, where you can see all three woods from the front of the instrument, whereas normally you'd see just on straight on just a, a gold top. Yeah. Now, did you come up with the the idea for the outline of the body, or no? I mean, all of the uh, erotics have that same idea, but generally because the top is not stained, generally the body is stained a very similar colour to the top. So you see it kind of contours in more. 
whereas this is a stark contrast between the, the stained body and the actual top, so it's a really interesting look. People keep saying it looks like a guitar Prince would play. But, you know, uh, the people keep saying what? They, they keep saying it looks like a guitar Prince would play. Oh yeah, right, I see. You can get away with it, you know, <laughs> it's fine. But the, the look is really unique. And I think, am I right in saying this is the first translucent gold top yes. that you guys have done? Yes. Just a few layers of, of gold yes. on the finish, yeah. And it's worked really well. It was an experiment. Now, what were you going for with the pickups? Like, Gabor said they're a little hotter than normal, so not like, not like PATH style. Well, they're, they're Alnico 5s, right? So, not normally my pickups are very vintage sounding, they're quite low output. And I play a lot of legato, so I wanted something that was really kind of a more kind of... Um, Sustain a little more. Exactly. And with, with this wood combination as well, it works really well with the hotter output pickups. Uh, but it still does kind of vintage tones as well. If you roll the volume down and split the humbuckers, it can do vintage tones as well. But for that kind of high gain stuff, this is kind of more the sound I hear in my head for high gain stuff than the other guitars. So it gives me the best of both worlds, basically. It's really cool. Okay. So we've talked about this a lot. Why don't you show us a few different sounds? Sure. So with just the, uh, the bridge pickup in humbucker mode, I think, yes. Uh, we, it's a real fat sound. <coughs> split it, so this is series humbucker mode, uh, sorry, parallel humbucker mode, and it's noiseless as well, which is great. It's got a lot more spank to it, so it's more vintagey sounding, but again, it's completely noiseless, which is a problem in my studio. My studio is the worst for noise. And then in single coil mode, it's just again a little bit more spanky, um, does it? It's a true split. Which which coil is it that you get? The front one. The front coil. <laughs> so we'll my output. More clarity. Exactly. And for clean tones, that's great for kind of funk playing, or anything with chorus, kind of like fusion style, like a Holdsworthy kind of tone. Works really really nicely. Um, and then in the middle position, you've got I mean serious spank going on if you split the uh, in parallel humbucker mode. And it plays itself. It's crazy, crazy. I think you're you're giving yourself a little bit too little credit. But <laughs> how about some? What about the neck position? Yeah, neck position in humbucker mode, really smooth, obviously. It's got enough top ends to actually cut through as well, it's not muddy. And then if you split it... Nice. Now, Gabor, how much is this going for? <laughs> the tough question, huh? <laughs> you don't want to know? Is that what you're saying? No. Um, <laughs> the you don't. You don't know yet. I know. The basic model uh, we do for Tom starts from four thousand six hundred dollars. That's that's not the transparent finish. With all his custom requirements, it goes up to six thousand dollars. God, so. you're an expensive bastard. <laughs> that's what you get for being really erotic. I always say this is not expensive. It costs a lot of money, but it's not expensive. <laughs> That's not the old cliche of you get what you pay for is really true here. It's not that much for the wood of life. <laughs> yeah. That's right, but go for it. Tell everyone where to go online so they can read about this and all your other guitars. Yeah, it's www.fibonara-guitars.com. So. Right. Awesome. Thanks, Gabor. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for Premier Guitar.